Welcome back Gundam guys and Gundam gals, Patrick Grady here from GGInfinite.com Today I'll be wrapping up my review on the new HGUC kit, the Rizal Type C Defensor B Unit and GR Colors. In the first couple of videos we went over the unboxing, and in the second video we did a look at all the individual parts, pieces, and accessories of the kit, as well as taking a look at the completed mobile suit and the backpack all together. So now it's time to transform this mobile suit into Wave Rider form, and to do so I'll be looking at all the parts and pieces involved with that, and showing you guys quickly how to get it into Wave Rider form. So let's start off by taking a look at the pieces necessary for the transformation, and going from there. Uh, so here we go. Alright, so here's everything you need for the transformation process from mobile suit to Wave Rider form. You'll have to separate the backpack thrusters from the side packs. You'll need to separate the side skirts from the legs. Fold up the legs like so. You also need the crotch. Take apart the chest from the torso unit. Have the fuselage and cannons attached to each other. As well as the shield. Now from the main mobile suit, you'll, what you'll have left is this upper body part. So you're pretty much not using anything from the upper body except for the front of the chest. So this will be left over. New parts that are involved in the transformation is this major piece here that a lot of stuff attaches to. You can see the design for the arms and stuff here. So this is a couple pieces put together here, no moving parts or anything, just a bunch of pegs to plug, plug everything into. And like I said before, you can see the arms and the shoulders here, so uh, this is why you don't need anything from the upper body. You also need this part, which seems to extend the hyperbeam launchers out and away from the body as much as possible. You'll need two of these guys, which holds the bent legs together, as well as adding another attachment point here at top. As well as two of these fellows, which you use to attach the new side skirts back to the legs in the Wave Rider form. So let's go and start putting everything back together and uh, see how it looks. So the first step is to take the transformation cog here, place the chest on front, like that, and then put the shield on the bottom, like that, so that's the first step. And for the crotch piece, you'll need to take out the hip joint, so make sure that's uh, out of there as well. And then insert this into there, so it goes in between the fake arms, and that's the second step. Alright, so for the next series of steps, Take one of your legs, and on the inside here, you'll see there's a little attachment point here on the ankle for this piece. Clip that into place like that, and fit it snug up against the hip joint here. On the opposite side, plug in the thruster pack, as well as this piece for the side skirt. And when everything like that is connected, it should hold together pretty well, as far as the leg not being able to bend anymore. Next, attach the side skirt to the lower piece here, and then the thruster pack back onto the peg on the boosters. So I hope that's a desired outcome for this set. As you can see, it's pretty solid. The only thing I have trouble with is the booster pack here attaching to these two pegs. It doesn't seem to work as well as it did at the beginning on the backpack either, and here it seems a little bit loose too. So. Definitely just need a little extra friction on that guy, so maybe some super glue or something there to add some teeth to it. Uh, but for the most part, it seems to be okay. So go ahead and do all that stuff again for this part as well. So the last part before putting it all back together is to take your fuselage with the Mega Beam launchers extended like that. And then this piece as well. This piece clips into the bottom of the cockpit area there. And the arms of the Mega Beam launchers extend out and seem to lock into place on the edge of the uh, new rack here. I would make sure to have the joints all flat and nice against the bar here so they're out as far as they can be and also resting closely against the top of the bar here so the rifles don't bend down. Alright so there are all the major components of the wave wider form. Let's go and put it all together. Alright, so in the back here, you're left with the attachment point in the crotch area for the action base. So let's go and put this guy up on there so we can take a look at it. Alright, so with Wave Rider form up on an action stand, we get a pretty impressive looking ship. Definitely a lot longer than the standard Rizels. Very impressive looking, a lot of extra detail and stuff going on here with the wings and the booster packs along the edge. We have at least 15 or so thrusters coming off the back here, so that looks really cool. And definitely overall a really unique shape and style to the Rizel. In both modes, the Defensor Unit Rizel is very busy. Here's a quick look at the standard Rizel without all the extra add-ons and stuff. As you can see, it's a much more simple design, clean and compact, but the Rizel Type-C Defensor B Unit definitely has a lot more going on. 
that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your preferences. Sometimes I prefer just a more simple design like this guy. But overall, I think there's a lot more vers versatility and playability here with this kit for sure. A huge amount of cannons coming towards you. You have two barrels on either side, the mega beam launchers, and then the barrel on the shield there. So an impressive looking kit. But I think it does lose some of the design elements. Uh, like I said before, I really enjoy the, the shape and the, the angle of the cockpit hatch here on the Rizal. But that's pretty much lost here with the Mega Beam launchers being up front like that. It's not a huge deal. It's just a different visual effect, which is always good when you have a reproduction of the suit coming out. So this is definitely a unique looking kit when compared to the other Rizals. I definitely think it deserves a place in your shelf next to your other Rizals just for this mode alone. It's pretty impressive, and this seems to hold together pretty well. The thrusters up here don't seem to fall off as much as they do in the backpack, and it's definitely a lot more sturdy in this form. There's no issues with weight balancing on the legs or the hip joints, so uh, a much sturdier form here. And like I had mentioned in my Delta Plus review a few weeks ago, I really enjoyed the look of it from the top. You can see it has a pretty cool silhouette from the top there, especially when the wings spread out. So overall, I think the Wayfarer form is an excellent mode. Again, much more sturdy and playable than the mobile suit mode, just because of the extra weight and stuff involved in mobile suit mode. Alright, so as we watch the Rizal Type-C Defensor B unit spin around here in both forms, the Wave Rider and the mobile suit form, let's go over a few of the bad things and the many good things of this kit so far. I do have a few minor gripes, one being the color scheme. And while I do appreciate the fact that Bandai went to the lengths of changing the color scheme overall, I think the off-white, white, and orange is a little too underwhelming, at least in my opinion. I think it would be much more fitting in the darker colors, like maybe the Titans color scheme or something along those lines. Again, it's nice to see the change up between the teal and the dark blue and gray, but I just feel that it could have been a little bit better with a darker color scheme. The other issue I have with the kit is the weight and stability issues. But this is a problem that's gone back all the way to the original result. Looking real quick at what I did with my first Rizal that I got here, I put some extra plot plating around the areas on the crotch to uh, shore up some of the wiggle room left over between the gaps of the crotch and the torso unit. Now, this doesn't look very good, but when everything's put together, you can't see the additions here. And it definitely does take away a lot of the extra give and stuff that's there in this kit. You're, you're going to be losing a little bit of articulation, but I think you'll be getting a lot more stability and stuff there. So. Uh, Aside from the extremely dusty version of the Rizal here, I think that might be a good way to go for people who have problems with the weight and balance issues. So aside from those few minor issues, I don't see too much else wrong with the kit. Of course there's an issue with it being a parts former, so if you're one who doesn't really appreciate that kind of thing, then that could be a deal breaker for you. But there are just a few extra parts involved with the transformation, and I don't think it's such a big deal at all. I actually kind of appreciate it more than having a subpar version of both forms. I think if having a part swapping transformation makes each form better, it's a good trade-off. But Ben has done a great job of making this third release of the Rizal mold feel fresh and new when compared to the other two versions. Usually when you have a re-release like this, it's somewhat limited in overall differences between the other versions. But the Rizal Type-C Defensor B unit here is a, a great example of how Ben could do it right by adding enough differences between the other versions. Good job Bandai with all the additions in the, on this version. And I appreciate all three different versions of the Rizal, actually. I like the simplicity of the first one. The commander unit's nice with the oversized weapon and then different wings. And uh, this version here is just fantastic with all the different stuff available to it. So, so looking at the Master Grave versions of the Rizal, we have two versions so far, the first and the commander. So I wonder if Ben is going to release a third version with the Defensor B unit here, or maybe something different. I think the Rizal is a strong high grade and master grade, and it'll definitely be nice to see a third version of it in both forms. But again, I think Ben has done a great job with this high-grade kit. And aside from a few minor quibbles, I think it's totally a great kit to get. There's plenty of plastic here to play with. It could take you an, a good long time to put it together. And the result is a nice overall kit that looks great in both forms, although it's a little stronger in the Wave Rider form as far as stability and stuff goes. So in conclusion, I would definitely recommend the Rizal Type-C Defensor B unit in GR colors. To anybody who's a fan of transforming suits, the Rizal design, the Unicorn series, or whoever just needs a new high-grade kit to put together. I wonder if we'll see any more versions of the Rizal. I know there's some line art for a couple different ones out there, so there's plenty of opportunities for Bandit to use this mold again. So let me know what you think of the kit so far with a comment down below. And if you want to, follow the link in the info section to ggmfit.com to pick up your own. So please comment down below. Give me a like if you haven't, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate all you guys subscribing to my channel so far. I'm getting pretty close to a thousand, so I can't wait for that to happen. 
and I plan to have some kind of giveaway at a thousand or so so stay tuned for that and of course thank you to Gundam Guy for providing the kits stay tuned for more reviews and I'll see you soon